DJI, arguably the leader in commercial and consumer drone technology, announced a few new higher-end drones today. And joining us to discuss these new drones is Mikey Campbell, senior editor at Apple Insider. How's it going, Mikey? How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. So first, tell us a little bit about the Phantom 4 Pro. So the Phantom 4 Pro, as uh, DJ likes to call it, um, it's basically an upgraded version of the Phantom 4. Uh, it has a, has a bunch of new features. Um, pro photographers will be happy to know that uh, it's got a 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor. So that's uh, upgraded from the one 2.3-inch uh, sensor that was on the last one. And um, probably the biggest thing about that is that it's a mechanical shutter. So you won't be getting that weird... Um, electric shutter wobble mm -hmm. that you get from time to time when you get a, you know, moving object and stuff like that. Uh, and for the consumer side of things, they have a bunch of new sensors on it. So, uh, it's a lot easier to fly and a lot safer. Um, you can fly it faster and it has a really advanced obstacle avoidance systems in it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, crashing into trees or, uh, light poles or, not, not that I've ever done that, but, you know. <laughs> and not that we wouldn't want to, to do that just right. for, for, you know, if it didn't cost so much. Uh, yeah, so yeah. explain a little bit about this obstacle avoidance because they've really kind of built it out here with something called flight autonomy technology. Right, right. So uh, basically you've got uh, three sets of visual systems um, at work. So kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a camera, but not not really one that you can tap into per se and, and view on your iOS device or whatever you're using uh, to, to control it. But it does have uh, new sensors, especially ones in the back that are particularly interesting, which means that uh, you know when you're filming something in reverse, like say you're doing a fly-out shot or, a, or a, a reveal, you don't have to, you can concentrate more on what's ahead of you rather than what's behind you. Um, especially if you're like taking a lot of footage in uh, downtown, or, um, you know, somewhere there's a lot of uh, obstacles like buildings and maybe even people. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good, it's a really good system. They also added a couple infrared sensors on the sides, uh, particularly good for indoor recording. Nice, nice. Now, this also works in tandem with iOS, as I believe the Phantom 4 did, oh, of right? Course. You can, you can yeah. explain a little bit about those controls. Um, so basically, uh, DJI kind of built this system um, they picked iOS uh, to kind of piggyback off of. Uh, it makes it makes things a lot easier uh, for the drone maker to not have to worry about you know the um, the framework that they're building the software on. Mm -hmm. So with this latest one, they built a couple new uh, flight modes into it. Um, so there's got a they got a bunch of active track um, technology. So um, you can like say with the Mac, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Mavic Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a bunch of new flight modes in it. So you can highlight a subject, uh, say on a motorcycle or uh, you know a person and it'll track that person. Um, the Phantom 4 Pro actually has a new mode that you can go uh, from side to side horizontally. So it's good for like sweeping shots. Um, and it has just a it has just a bunch of features that kind of mesh with the iOS ecosystem, uh, in you know, just like the past DJI mm -hmm. products have for I don't know years. It's kind of made them popular, so popular that Apple selling it in their stores now, right? So sure, sure. Yeah, they're doing something right. So what's the battery life like on on this one? So this one, uh, you can use the old batteries, but with the, it has a new high-capacity battery that you can slap in for 30 minutes of flight time, um, which is actually really, really good for a drone this size. Mm -hmm. uh, people, uh, drone makers have been kind of looking to get or hit that kind of mythical 30-minute mark ever since they started, you know, creating these autonomous vehicles. Uh, um, it's great to have one, you know, to have in your backpack. Uh, but then you take it out and, you know, sometimes at the first one, you could use it for like 10 minutes, right? And then you got to fly it back, swap out the batteries. So it's kind of limiting. But when you have the a high capacity 30 minute pack in there, it, it kind of frees you up and it kind of realizes this dream of uh, actually having a real autonomous drone like follow you around wherever you go, recording your, your action sports or whatever, right. whatever, whatever floats your boat.
It might even be floating boats. Um, it could be floating boats. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what about the Inspire too? This is like oh this yeah, is this like is on pro. steroids, aimed you know, like targeting Hollywood. It, it kind of seems like right. Yeah. Right. Uh, so the Inspire One was basically DJI's like top of the line. Uh, all in one package. They they do have the uh, the Zen Muse and you know, higher level ones that you can attach your own cameras to. But this is kind of the all in one um, out of the box package for for professional filmmakers. And um, I was just watching. Uh, they released their kind of like promo vid for it, and the shots in there are are pretty amazing. It it's uh, it's a all new uh, construction body. It looks like the old one, so kind of futuristic looking with the uh, uh, the uh, automatic automatically raised wings um but it's a different material magnesium uh hybrid it makes it lighter so it can go faster and um stay in the air for longer uh this one is interesting and in that has support for two different or two battery packs at the same time uh, with the two on there and the uh, i think they call the the x5s camera um it's 27 minutes of flight time if you have the two packs in there, so that is also impressive for a you know pro level camera that is this powerful. This thing goes like 67 miles an hour, so it can do uh, highway chase scenes and um, all kinds wow. of you know crazy footage. So, That's awesome. so yeah, it's also cool. It has a it has a detachable SSD drive. So uh, the previous ones, you know, you can use the SD card and be limited there, right? But uh, if you're a filmmaker, you know. If you're shooting in RAW and you're outputting in ProRes or something, you're going to need uh, a bit more storage. And uh, especially when you have a, a UAV up there for 27 minutes, you're going to probably be loading up that that card. So you have a, um, a new SSD kind of uh, thing that kind of slips in and out of the back, right right near the uh, right in between the uh, battery uh, packs and the back, and the, the twin battery packs in the back. So that's kind of neat. It's a good. Uh, it's actually a well well thought out and executed design. Um, and the, quali of, I mean, the quality kind of speaks yeah. for itself. Obviously, um, DJI yeah. released, we've been watching as you've been talking, this uh, kind of uh, short film that was shot mm -hmm. using nothing but the Inspire 2. And I'm sure... Like you can t you can tell in some of the scenes that it's obviously it's hovering and it's doing its thing. Uh, yeah. In other scenes, I have I have a feeling they probably have it mounted in some sort of sense because I don't know how you get some of these shots with a hovering drone to be honest. Yeah, but I mean the yeah. quality is is superb. It looks amazing. Right. And this one also has a you know just like the Phantom Four Pro uh, has a bunch of sensors. This one also adds uh, a bunch of sensors, including up facing visual sensors, so you don't hit the ceiling. When indoors, which is uh, you don't want to crash your six thousand dollar drone, right? <laughs> um, and also for this one, I think, oh yeah, th there's a there's a new secondary camera that is just a front facing um, kind of a low res camera for the pilot because this drone is actually designed to be piloted by one person and um, camera operated by another right. using either the iOS. Uh, iOS uh, link device or a secondary remote. So, so let's say like the pilot can view the feed of where the camera or where the drone is going, and the uh, camera operator can you know take care of all the footage. So that's kind of a plus as well. Super cool stuff. Obviously, we're gonna have to save up some money in order to get one for ourselves. Six six thousand dollars is no joke. Yeah. Uh, but no. we're not the we're not the target audience at all. Uh, Mikey Campbell with Apple Insider. Really appreciate you taking time uh, this afternoon to chat with us about this. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. Anytime. Excellent. Find you. Uh, what's what's your Twitter Twitter handle? Twitter's uh, at Mikey Campbell eighty one. Excellent. Everybody, look up Mikey. Appreciate it, Mikey. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Have Take a good care. night. Bye bye.